filming my eyebrow tutorial for you guys. I didn't feel like getting my camera out and my light out and making this video that fancy because it's probably going to be honestly a very quick video on how I do my brows. But I'm just going to do them for you guys and teach you how I do it. So thank you. My acne is trash. I put on the wing liner today, which is a very rare occasion. So if you want a tutorial on wing liner, cause I mean, it's pretty natural wing liner. It's nothing serious, but it can still cut a bitch with how sharp it is. I do not like myself. <laughs> okay, so basically, if you know me, you know I'm freaking lazy as frick old frack. So I don't like doing the whole pomade thing anymore because honestly, it's just an extra step and extra precision that I don't want to deal with. But if you're into that, do that. It's fine. But I like to use brow pencils and this is just Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in dark brown. So what I do is I just take the brush and I brush all my hairs up. And if I feel like I need to pluck some hairs then I will do that today honestly my hair not my hair but my eyebrows are a little messy so I'm just gonna uh, pluck them a little with my tweezers until I get them to the desired shape which doesn't take too long to do. But I just like to do that because I can fix it with yeah. concealer and stuff. But honestly, I just think it's easier to go in sometimes. But yeah, that's why I pluck it because you can fix it with concealer. But honestly, it's just easier if you have less to work with. So I just brush them up. And then what I do, and sorry, I'm congested. I'm sure you can tell. Is I just take that, and then I start, like, right here. Like, I start in the arch, and I underline it. Like, I don't go all the way in. Because I don't want the area in there to look too unnatural. So I'll just, like line it out nicely <laughs> and then I'll do the top and honestly I think this is the hardest part because you never know if you're gonna do it like too much or if just enough but yeah once I do that I kind of just like lightly do the front part a little and then I just start filling in my brow where I didn't fill in before. I just fill in the gaps. And then before I put too much product on it, I'll turn it around and, you know, blend it out a little with my brush. That way the edges aren't super harsh, but they're not gone either, you know. Now as you can tell, that is already looking amazing. Ooh. But yeah, once I do that, I'll just add some final touches to make sure it's filled into my liking. And as you can see, I kind of added a little too much right there, but that's fine. Now I'll just brush it out one more time to blend it and shape it and then that's that brow completed and then i'll do the same to the other side and i won't film that because there's no point in filming the same thing twice so i'll come back when i'm done with both brows with this and then you'll see what i do okay so i finished filling in both my brows with this now what i'll do is i'll take some concealer i don't really care which concealer because it's not that important but i'll just take this tiny um 
beauty blender I have. And what I'll do is I'll um, outline my brows just to clean up. Just to clean them up and make sure that they look snatched. Sorry I'm not really being like super comedic in this video. <laughs> it's just like me trying to focus on what I'm doing. So then I'll just blend that out right up into the brow so that it kind of makes it look smaller, but not like, ew, <laughs> you know? And right now, like, I kind of dipped too low right there, as you can tell, and I'm not fucking with that, so... If I make mistakes, which I do, like, I'm not gonna lie and be like, oh, I'm perfect at eyebrows, like, I never make a mistake, <laughs> because that would be a lie. But, yeah. If that happens, I'll just fix it. And then it's good as new. And that just, like, ooh, like, that just cleans it all up. It makes it look better. and then i'll do the same to the other side and i won't film and i recommend using a concealer brush before using the mini beauty blender just because i feel like it helps like with precision and so that you don't do what i did right here and like completely accidentally blend it into the brow <laughs> So I feel like doing this is a good idea. And this is honestly just a Urban Decay brush that I got in a Urban Decay palette. And that just like helps shape it better. And it's more precise than just like a beauty blender, for example. But she looking good right now. Honestly, 100% not sure how I feel about this one right now. So after that, it depends on how long I plan on keeping it on. But if I plan on keeping it on for a while, I will use a clear mascara that I just use as a brow gel to set it all in place. And you don't want to put too much because if you put too much, it'll look weird and like... Um, I don't know, crusty, to be honest. But this just sets it all in place and makes it look cute. And that's the final step. That's it, guys. That's all I do for my brows. But also, if I do use a pomade, which I do when I feel like it, when, like, for special occasions or whatever, when I do use a pomade, I do the exact same thing just with the pomade. That is my eyebrow routine. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like or whatever. Subscribe down below. Follow my social medias down below. And thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs>